Hello everybody. In this video, we will talk about ICT, meaning, effect, challenges and tools. Learning objectives of this video are, at the end of this video, the learner will know the definition of ICT, know different benefits of using ICT, no challenges involved in use of ICTs in education and learner will know different tools which can be used for ICT. First we will see meaning of some terms which are regularly used. ICTs. ICT stand for information and communication technologies and can be defined as a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate and to create, disseminate, store and manage information. E-learning E-learning encompasses learning at all levels, both formal and non-formal, that uses an information network, whether wholly or in part, for course delivery, interaction and or facilitation. Blended learning A learning model that combines traditional classroom practice with e-learning solutions. For example, we can have an online course in which some sessions of face-to-face -face interactions are held. What is the promise of ICTs in education? So ICTs have the potential for increasing access to and improving the relevance and quality of education. Let's look at some benefits of ICTs. The first benefit is anytime, anywhere. ICTs make possible asynchronous learning. Online course materials can be accessed 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Certain type of ICTs such as teleconferencing technologies enable instructions to be received simultaneously by multiple geographically dispersed learners. This can be considered as a synchronous learning. The other benefit of ICT is the access to remote learning resources. The teachers and learners no longer have to rely solely on printed books and other materials in physical media housed in libraries. ICTs also facilitate access to resource persons, mentors, experts, researchers, professionals, business leaders and peers all over the world. A very major benefit of ICTs is that it prepares an individual for the workplace. Engorge of the North Central Regional Educational Laboratory, US, has identified what it calls 21st century skills, which includes digital age literacy, now digital age literacy has many uh, parts, it, could, it is consisting of functional literacy, visual literacy, scientific literacy, technological literacy, information literacy, cultural literacy and global awareness. The other skill is inventive thinking, higher order thinking, sound reasoning, effective communication and high productivity. The potential of ICTs to promote the acquisition of these skills is tied to its use as a tool for raising educational quality, including promoting the shift to a learner-centered environment. ICTs also help transform the learning environment into one that is learner-centered using active learning and collaborative learning techniques. But there could be some, some issues in the use of ICTs in education, especially in the developing countries. 
the first issue could be the question on the effectiveness of ICTs. As for any new technology, the first question is whether it is effective or not. We are so much used to our conventional ways of teaching and learning that any changes in the methodologies first give rise to questions about its effectiveness. But it has been proven with the help of many research that the uses of ICTs in the regular teaching learning process is very effective and that increases the skills, higher order thinking skills in the students. The second issue could be the cost. The cost of use of these ICTs, especially in the rural areas where the facility, the infrastructure of internet facilities, computers or uh, access of all these things for the students or sometimes even for the teachers is not very good in our country. So the question could be what could be the cost to set up such an infrastructure or environment in an educational institute where the ICTs can be used effectively for regular teaching learning processes. Third concern is equity. The concerns about the use of ICT in widening of existing divisions drawn along economic, social, cultural, geographic and gender lines. So already in our country there is lots of divisions along all these things. The concerns are whether use of ICT will remove these divisions lessen these divisions or it will widen these divisions. The fourth issue could be sustainability. So any technology whether it is sustainable over the period or not. So sustainability can be of many types. It could be economic sustainability, it could be social sustainability, political sustainability etc. Now in this course we will be looking at some tools of ICT which can be used in uh, our teaching learning process. The first would be learning management systems. Then we will see use of screencasting. This video has been made using a screencasting technique. And then how websites can be used for communication, collaboration and dissemination of materials with our students. These are some resources which have been referred for preparation of this video. Thank you.